Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Moreover, according to the same source, the dynamic duo are said to be lacking motivation to travel back to the UK, which implies that their fears are more than security, they might have some big secrets to hide. This rumor allegedly entails Catherine's health and challenging situation with Harry, what is going to be revealed in this video. The same source regards Prince Harry is worried he will have to travel to the UK alone. This pertains to Meghan Markle's goal of cancelling their anticipated trip because she fears for her children's security after their travel plans were leaked and has been considering with whether to come to the UK. Originally, Meghan was to have joined Harry in Britain with their children for a critical visit next month. This will force him to plan his journey. These last-minute developments gave Harry the sensation of being more linked to his homeland than before he embarked on another solo trip, especially considering his father and sister-in-law's current cancer battles and his family's need for support during this trying time. Whether the journey will be under certain circumstances with their children for enhanced safety, or Harry will travel alone, will face them alone. The same source reports that Harry, on the other hand, has been for alternatives pointing out that she needs to change her mind and rejoin to turning down. He is tired of taking his family on solo journeys to the UK, and he would rather they go there regularly to visit with their family and stay connected. But has made it difficult for them to do. They were due to be at 10th anniversary at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8, but it is unclear whether they will be. First and foremost, the couple was planning to travel but with the specific date and time of their appearances leaked, Meghan became concerned about their family's security. While it was widely known that they were planning to attend the anniversary service in May, the specific date was something the Sussexes hoped to keep confidential. According to their plans leaked on social media, the couple intended to celebrate Archie's 5th birthday in Montecito on May 6 and fly to the UK the following day in a private jet. This diaper will last for a week and will include the anniversary service as well as additional family time. Not only would the visit serve as an occasion for their kids to meet their dad's family, but it would also be a moment of personal as well as public joy. Once again, the leak concerning their appearances has put the family in jeopardy of threats, highlighting the challenges they face. However, I do not believe this is the only factor complicating Harry and Meghan's return. As a matter of fact, there is an added layer of emotional complexity. Meghan is allegedly anxious to return to the land she feels champignons her due to the high levels of discomfort. Essentially, this would serve as additional stress to the visit since the visit, as I mentioned, would include personal concerns and joy coupled with serious family matters at hand. The strains due to the private event's sensitivity have been further complicated by recent serious health news from the royal family. Harry's father has recently been diagnosed with cancer, as has the Princess of Wales. These reports indicate that the couple's desire to visit has further increased the tension. Essentially, if the email chain surrounding the discoveries is correct, then Harry is caught in a difficult position. On the one hand, he wishes to support his family during their hard time, on the other, Meghan is hesitant to return to a place she fears and feels unappreciated. As I mentioned earlier, even though Kate and the King have shown support in recent weeks, visiting the UK would pose an emotional toll on the younger royal couple. Particularly torn is Harry, who feels an intense obligation both to his family to be with him but also to be there for Meghan. It is personally reported that he contacted Catherine and was deeply worried about her state of health, signifying this own continued connection to his family, despite the strained kinship and the emotional intricacies at play. Harry expressed his great hopes for Kate. She wants Archie and Lilibet to harbor closer relationships with their cousins and his friends' children. He feels they have been away from the UK for too long, and he would like to have people there that he can see regularly. According to sources, Harry is desperate for their security to be assured so they can return. They want to return, Harry feels it's where they belong. His and Meghan's worries and insecurities stem from the perceived further diminishing of their security by the British government and their exclusion from the royal family. 
The critic's portrayal of the predicament as hypocrisy indicates this balance. One side of himself wants to return to his family, while the other is mired in concerns about their well-being. On the other hand, public support expresses a desire for more respectful discussion than the prevalent disrespectful behavior. Many people believe Catherine should be allowed to deal with her struggles in private. Meghan made a statement about her need for peace and prayer many years in the future. Still, it seems that it would be a good idea to address the actions of her most ardent supporters first. They should go, no one wants that. At the same time, Catherine deserves relaxation and spiritual endeavors. She cannot do so while such stressful and embarrassing tales and uncertainties about William's fidelity continue to surface. No more slinging mud, no more slandering Kate for no real reason. For starters, Catherine should be addressed by her appropriate title, she hasn't been Middleton in over a decade. She has had three royal children and has spent over a decade in the royal family, she is Her Royal Highness Catherine, Princess of Wales. Catherine and her family should be allowed time and privacy to address their personal issues, particularly during difficult times. She deserves protection and privacy that should be guaranteed to her. On the other hand, Harry, Meghan, and their children's situation seem to be taken in a different way where their calls for privacy are met with skepticism because of their actions and how the public perceive them. But people have to start calling her Her Royal Highness and treating her with the respect she deserves. I suppose the prince asked a few years ago. People have to start calling her Catherine or the Princess of Wales. I mean, okay, maybe the channel name is not my best decision yet. But, as I said, yes, YouTube algorithms make it impossible to change the name of the channel. As you can notice, I have never called her Kate, always, always, only Catherine. Honestly, who else, if not her? She has not been living with the Middletons for 13 years. She is married to the prince. He will be king one day, but most importantly, she is the mother of a future king. She needs to be put in her place. So, may God bless Catherine, Princess of Wales. May she have full and complete recovery. I do know that they have said that she is a public figure and then the public has the right to know how she is emotionally. I completely disagree with that. As I said, Catherine will say only as much as she's going to be comfortable with. And sure, eventually we might hear more later on, but as of right now, people should just mind their business. I cannot imagine, I guess, if you live your life out there as a public person, then obviously, there's always going to be speculation, but I still don't think, you know, that means Catherine just has to lay everything out on the line. It's her business, and when she's ready to reveal more information, she will. I mean, look over what she's been facing. People should sympathize with her situation. Just imagine if we were in her position, our hearts would be breaking. Even if she is a public person, she is human, just like us. I mean, in my opinion, this is not right. I am just horrified with how many people are angry and jealous, who have nothing better to do than acting like they know the right way to do, basically, anything. Anyway, I'm not all too worried about Catherine. She's going to have the best doctors in the world working on her, and she will, with all certainty, come out of this thing victorious. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.